Another developing story, this one on the city's west side. Fire swept through an Indianapolis variety store, killing one man inside. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser joins us live now at that scene. And Chance, I understand the store meant a lot to a lot of people in that neighborhood. You're right, Erica. All day, people have been passing by here, stopping to stare, trying to process what has happened to the place many call the center of this small community. Olson Perry bought this building back in the 80s. He lives across the street. This morning, he woke up to sirens. He went outside to see this, flames shooting through the roof of his property. I mean, it was flaming when I went out there. Yeah. Flame was jumping through the roof. Inside what was once a variety store, a neighborhood staple in this close-knit community. Everybody has known each other for over 20-something years because I've been in the neighborhood for 25. The store been there for I don't know how long. And everybody know about this store. All day long, they in out of store, they in out of store, they in out of store. Now fire investigators do the same thing. Initially, the fire was too intense for crews to search the building, but once the flames were doused, they went inside and found one victim, a man in his 50s, dead. Ain't nothing else I can say right now. It's just really a sad situation. All right, now the man's body is with the Marion County Coroner's Office. They say the autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. Many in this neighborhood say they think they know who this man is. He was an integral part of this neighborhood. But I spoke with uh, people who say they are family members. They can't confirm his identity for me 100%. Neither can the, the coroner's office at this hour. So we'll wait on that and bring that to you just as soon as we are sure we know who this man is. Live on the west side, Chance Walser, RTV6. All right, we'll look for that, Chance. Thank you.